you can't sell original art on Etsy. It's just impossible, isn't it? It's, I hear this all the time. It's impossible because you can't sell and relist an item. You can't have a best-selling product. You can't find good keywords. It is just impossible to sell original art on Etsy. Or is it? What would it take for me to, to get you to believe that it is possible? Would I need to find a best-selling shop that sells original artwork? What kind of thing would be that original? What, what kind of level would it be before you would believe that this was possible? 1,000 sales? No. 10,000 sales? What if I was able to show you a shop on Etsy that had over 35,000 sales? Would that be enough to let you know that it is possible to sell original art on Etsy if you're smart and think outside the box? As I said, this is a question I get absolutely all the time. And I really, I've been trying to share with you that it is possible. All artists can sell and sell well on Etsy. But there are limitations and there are things you're going to have to do to think differently. And a wonderful friend of mine has agreed to let me share her shop because Oh boy, she's doing fantastically. You are going to love this. Let me just take you straight away into the shop. 35,000 sales. So this is another in my series of top seller shops. And if we look at Sagittarius Gallery Fine Art, 35,379 sales. Home of the original Starry Night Dogs and Cats. Now, Starry Night is in the public domain, so this and this is not copies of Starry Nights. It is based on you'll you'll see anyway. Um, and she's also a star seller. So yes, you can also be a big popular shop and a star seller. Let's have a look. So four thousand items in her shop fantastic but let's have a look first of all is this an original artist original paintings she has 20 original paintings in her shop and already i am seeing one of the ways the clever ways that she is getting the views the clever ways that she has got to this 50000 well 35000 will be 50000 soon i'm sure firstly let's look at the good things here in fact all of you that, that have been with me for a while, let's let's have a study session here in the comments below. I want you to jump in and tell me what things you think that she is doing great here that are getting all of the sales before I dig into this. I think it'll be really interesting. I'm sure people will spot things that I haven't. Um, but it's also really interesting to look into you know, what everybody else thinks. So, but this, I, I think there is no denying here that this is original, one-of-a-kind artworks. I I have watched, she's my friend on Facebook, and I have watched her. I've seen the step-by-step -step pictures of her doing these paintings. So let's go into what is good about the original art. Why? I mean, obviously, we can see the elephant in the room on the left-hand side. Um, 4,000 of this stuff in her shop is not original paintings, but there's 20 original paintings. So let's look at what, why I think them by themselves are doing well, and then we'll go into the absolute genius. So firstly... It is a unique style, although it's based on the Starry Nights and everything. It is a unique, bright, colourful, bold style, but mainstream enough that I bet most of us can think of some people that would enjoy this kind of colourfulness on their walls. It's not so out there. It's a statement piece of art. Um, I think it looks great. So there's there's one thing. And it's a unique style that if I see this, I know instantly it is her work. If anyone else is doing something like this, they're copying and copies never do so well. But thankfully, I haven't seen any. So there's one. It is in a recognisable but unique style. It is bold, but not so out there that it's it it has a wide appeal. 
Okay, so that's a nice gifted thing. And also I would say the price is for original work of art. I think that's a good price that plenty of people are happy to pay. Point two, there you go. So, and point three, very clever one as well. There's a lot, can be hitting a lot of keywords here. Now, I know everything here says Starry Night. That's an important thing if people are searching for a style of that. And I'm sure that'll probably come up in a Google search as well now. She's so nailed in on that. So maybe not a massive keyword, but these paintings are not called wild feats of fancy or whatever. This is a standard Snauzer Starry Night photo. Now, dogs and individual breeds of dogs are very popular on Etsy. People know dog lovers and they want to buy for their friends who are dog lovers. They want to buy things for the breed that their friend has got. Not only that, there are people who are super into the breeds that collect everything to do the to do with the breeds. So don't, if you're going to create something to do with dogs, this is a mistake I made earlier on, don't just say dog, custom dog or whatever. People search for their specific breeds. So trying lots of different breeds. We have some popular breeds like a Labrador but and a Lassa Apso. They're pretty popular. But also going for some of the less co popular, um, some crossbreeds. That is a beautiful picture, actually. Um, Briard, I'm not even sure how you say it, um, but different breeds that might be popular in different places. Um, so, yeah, it hits a lot of people. You know, I don't think I've met a bloodhound in real life. That's a niche dog. But the people who are really into that breed, there isn't so much artwork. There isn't so much available for them. So when they see something, they're more likely to buy it. So you're hitting people who want a statement piece on the wall. You're hitting people who have friends who are dog lovers. And you're hitting dog lovers that co collect certain breeds. So you've hit a wide range. And there is also a winter holiday lamp or a black bear in the Smoky Mountains. So that's a little wider, but it's all still in the same theme. So for the original work, there you go. Um, hitting a lot of things. Way to make, it, it's a good way to make lots of different works of art. If you're working through every dog breed you can think of, it keeps you interested and not bored of doing a similar style of things. Um, and even then, there's some at sunset, some sitting on the beach, you know, it, there's a nice variety it's not all exactly the same and black cat black cats are popular i did see in the bio she's also um doing cats as well so various types of cats are popular but black cat lovers that hits a load of people that black cat is one of my most popular keywords as well so already with the original art i think she could do very well um definitely this could be something I think her shop would have quite a high listing quality score for things like Starry Nights. You don't just have to sell and relist re an item that's identical. Um, Etsy did tell us in your search questions answered that they also look at how your shop's done with other listings for those keywords. So if you're making lots of sales, then you can do you know really well with other things there is obviously also the chance to go custom i seen whenever she posts anything people are always asking can you do my dog or can you do my breed so it is possible to have best sellers here that you sell and relist of a custom or sell and relist you know if you sold if the brown pit bull did super well you could make another one of a brown pit bull in a slightly different look so yeah you could do the face forward brown pit bull you know you can sell and relist and if they're similar enough you just change the picture but all the other seo is the same but it's it's the, the other four thousand as well so you've made an original piece of art 
but there's so much you can do with it and with a good quality scan so that orca killer whale beautiful picture was painted once looks like it was sold possibly years ago but a good quality scan means that if that's been popular, you can use it on merch. Get a print-on-demand site that has some really cool things. I doubt with 4,000 she's carrying all of this directly. This is through a print-on-demand company, I'm guessing. Um, so then you can have continued income from a painting you did a decade ago. And again, doing all the breeds of dogs. So now you can have a phone case, a t-shirt. Um, oh, here we go. Yes. And she's doing exactly what I said with the Westie. We've got facing forwards, facing away. So we've got jigsaw puzzles. We've got spiral notebooks. We've got yard signs. Um, but I can see I quite a few of these things and also you're getting sales and real lists and building up real authority for all these types all these different breeds of animals fantastic and there's an extra thing thing doing this kind of merch thing does that i totally love now i said that most people many people can pay the 200 pounds or so for an original work of art but not everybody can but if someone fell in love with this and wants it they can get a framed photograph of it they can get coasters they can get i'm tempted myself um they can get a notebook or something spend 20 dollars on something fall in love with it and then perhaps come back get something else your friends suddenly know that you've fallen in love with this and they'll maybe get you a little something and eventually one day you get a good bit of money you you want to tr really treat yourself and what do you do you go in and you can finally buy that original work of art so this is a great way i know i i've had artist friends over the years say they don't want to do that kind of march they don't want to dilute their product. They, they don't want to cheapen their product. I, the notebooks are great. They don't want to cheapen their product and the phone covers. Everything is cool. They don't want to cheapen their products by making fridge magnets out of them. But the thing is, that can build you avid fans. You can have people who they might not be able to buy your paintings but every time you come out with a new puzzle they're jigsaw puzzle fans every time you come out with a new puzzle they collect that or perhaps i'm just scrolling through the, all them here perhaps they want to collect every one of your coasters and have the full collection of all your artworks that way they're looking for a new t-shirt lots of people wear t-shirts um, so people can become an avid collector and this is something you could do she doesn't need to but you could do let's let's just come back to me now think about the ways you could do this to make collectors of your work so whenever you created a painting you could do a limited run of fridge magnets a limited one run of signed posters or something even in your print on demand companies you could say okay i'm only going to run this for a month i'm only going to run this for two months or just simply announce to your fans you know, from today, these things are going on sale. You know, you liked my black cat painting? From today, these are going on sale. And your followers become avid followers of that. But yeah, it is great to give people smaller things that they can buy and collect of you and love your work and aspire to one day be able to buy that piece. If you only had the more expensive items in your shop, people will look but quite often they'll go oh I can't afford that just now and they'll go away and they'll forget but if they look and they go oh I can't afford that just now but I can get a wee keychain then every time they open their front door they see your artwork so it, it's it's like them paying to advertise you <laughs> anyway 
yeah, I bet you thought I'd forgot to be looking at the bestsellers, our, our little bestseller series. But if this is something you enjoy, I will pop up some links to some of my other bestseller series so we can learn from the people who are doing it the best because you really can st sell stuff on Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah it's 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 not impossible for one of a kind artists and thank you so much for letting me look at your shop if you find any other top sellers and you want to dive into why you think they're top sellers let me know in the comment be below okay i'll see you later